So of course, when it snows, we always try and uh, find a place for our fine friend Rob Olson to to. Um, um, experience the great outdoors <laughs> on behalf of all of us and Rob you find yourself in Richfield it's not just the snow right now though it is also about the winds bitter wind chills right now in the single digits my friend yeah and I can feel that in my face right now with these fine snowflakes I will say it is better than it was a few hours ago the wind is still here it is not as strong so that's a good sign at least and I will say the roads are significantly better when I drove over here uh, mid uh, late morning time frame I was going to whop in 30 miles an hour in 494 within a few hours the roads are much better you can see traffic moving along much better tonight and as I looked around on the, the 511 app at a bunch of snowplow cams many of them look like bare pavement with the plows up uh, is there continuing to just spread more uh, uh, things on the surface here to keep things from getting slick it has been a weird week of weather it's been a weird actually couple months of weather while Chris Bowers cleared his Richfield driveway, as many of his neighbors were out doing the same, he paused to show me what these successive March storms had buried in his yard. Why'd you pull a sprinkler out of the snow? Because I was watering my yard just three days ago. You were watering your yard? Absolutely. It's been so dry, and you know, I just got to get something down for the grass. Well, now there's plenty of water on the grass. A few more inches of snow Tuesday morning, bringing the three-day total to nearly a foot. It quickly turned driving difficult, slick, and slow. But within a couple of hours, when plows began catching up, the roads quickly got in pretty good shape again. And no one expects this to stick around very long. <laughs> We've been out there golfing, and we'll be right back there again. Dave Brown took advantage of this winter relapse to get his clubs regripped. He played a half dozen rounds already this yeah. winter. Would you take more winters like the one we've had? Oh yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> I don't care. Bring it on. Hard to complain about this snow considering we saw golfing back in late January. I came with two more layers on over this and I shed them within three holes probably. I might strip, uh, shed this pretty soon yeah. too. We'll see. We saw a pool install in early February. Well, almost breaking your heads. Hey, we put a pool in February. Something to look back on. Witnessed pickleballers in late February. I've played maybe six times in days that we, we should be having snow, you know, which is the craziest thing. It makes all this right. much easier to deal with, though Chris, for one, would actually have preferred a normal winter. The great thing about Minnesota is four seasons. You get cheated out of one, it's just not fun. You gonna leave the sprinkler out in the yard? Sure, it's a reminder. <laughs> Yeah, as, as a reminder, and that sprinkler may be then uh, becoming visible again uh, relatively soon. We'll see how this goes. Again, uh, late March snowstorm. I tell you what, though, this has been pretty persistent all day. Very cold all day, very windy at times, the driving treacherous, but that appears again, as I said, to have much improved. Live in Richfield, Rob Olson, Fox 9. Yeah, Rob mentioned that treacherous driving, a fatal crash in